Um, what is it? What is this fight? What could you say for the fans um, to expect from this fight? You know, first of all, I'm very happy because I come back to boxing, to boxing again. You know, just May 5th is huge day for everybody, for boxing fans. Right now, just I come back. All right, Gennady, May 5th, you finally have an opponent. You, you have a fight. How much of a relief is that for you, and how happy are you that you're able to actually fight on May 5th? Yeah. You know, my focus right now, yeah, just for my next fight. This is my next fight. And thank you, my coach. You know, thanks my team who support me, you know, for this fight. Right now, just... Now lose this time, not lose this date, you know, just we come back, just I wanna fight, I wanna maybe three, four times per year. Just for me it's too much long, you know, if I come back to September. Relief. Whew. I'm gonna fight, happy. You know, this is my job. This is, I know this job, this is my style. I wanna this fight. Vanessa said that he respects you for taking uh, or for offering the fight to him and he respects you as a clean fighter. What are your thoughts about him taking on the fight and the challenge very last minute? Uh, you know, just I know Vanes long time ago, I remember 2004 in Olympics. Athens, yeah, in the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, he is a very good fighter, he's very strong fighter, you know. He has a strong team, you know, I respect him be because, you know, he is a huge guy, he's from Cali, you know, he's He's a good guy, you know, really, he's a huge man, you know, he's not step back, look at him. Gennady, I, I think we all know what you bring to the table, but what do you see in Vane that can cause a problem for you? Oh, he's a good fighter, really, you know, just, I believe it's not easy fight, you know, so many people said, hey, easy fight for you, mm, I don't know, just, this is boxing, nobody knows. Gennady, how hard has it to stay focused and not get stressed out. It's three weeks. You got to sell this fight. You got to do all this last minute. Has it been super stressful for you? Have you been able to focus? Not a lot. You know, not not big stress for me. Just yeah, I won this fight. Right now, it's change. Every time it's changed. You know, I'm professional athletes. Just I, I believe to my style. I believe my power. Just I believe I win. But you now you only have three weeks to train for a different style. Yes. Is that a problem? No, not a big problem. I feel I feel great, you know, just my condition, my power, just I believe just my style is much better. Do you think justice was served in um, Canelo getting the six month suspension? Was that a, were you happy with that? Seriously, I'm not thinking for Canelo, just I forgot him just if Canelo legal just come back to boxing, just we're talking for him. Next situation. That is a fight you want. Yes, absolutely. Now. Yeah. Yep. Are, Are you, you having different measures to make sure more te more testing or same testing before you fight Canelo again? Do you have to do anything different for him? For, for him or for, for him? Me? For him. This doesn't matter for me. You know, if legal more testing or I don't know. This is not my point. Mm -hmm. This is ask uh, who just. Gennady, maybe this question is valid. Um, when you spoke first about Gennady's uh, positive doping test, you also accused Oscar De Leo of being a cheater as well. What, I, what? Seriously, guys, I don't want talking for these guys. No, just for this team, for this situation. This is, Let's focus and, on the May 5 fight. Yeah. If, if Triple Absolutely. G doesn't win May 5, then there is no talk about Gennady. Gennady, so you're, you're, you're going to be, you're gonna be you're defending down. your title for the 20th time. You're going to be defending your title for the 20th time. What are we going to see from you the Cinco de Mayo? You know, I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer coming to ring for my job you know this is second you know in my statistic my record you know just i'm not thinking for it right now just you know i don't come coming for boxing for my record no record is record your Gennady fans want to some of your fans want to know when you come out are you going to be wearing mexican colors f to match your mexican style <laughs> when you step in the ring with vanes you know maybe it's <laughs> a little bit surprised Ooh. hey Gennady, <laughs> is this an easy fight do you see it as easy fight? Because fans that don't know much will look at Vanus and think, small guy coming up, easy fight, easy knockout. 100% this is not easy fight because I know Vanus long time, you know, he is a very good fighter. What what about him being a good fighter? What, what does he do well that you see? No, he's very good boxers, you know, his style is very difficult. You know, he has very nice team, very strong team, you know. 
very good experience, you know, in boxing. They were in the and same Olympics together, 2004 Olympics. So Vanas yeah. was on the American team and Gennady was on the Kazakh team. So they, they had a lot of amateur uh, history as well. You know, Gennady, you had an incredible knockout streak, but you haven't scored a knockout now since the Kelp Brook fight. How hungry are you to get one? This is boxing, you know, just... I can't say yes, of course, it's very important for me, just I come from a call. No, this, nobody knows. Why was, at the end of the day, why was it it's so important for you to keep a fight on May 5th for you? Not May 5th, not very important. Yeah, of course, this is the biggest day for boxing, Cinco de Mayo. No, I want to stay activity. You know, I don't want to wait like, September or November, December and just lose uh, just one year, two years. You know, this. come on, guys. I want uh, three, four, five fights per year. You know, I want to stay activity. Just right now, I'm very happy because I come back to boxing. Not because I have fight with Vanes or I have fight. No, just I want to. A victory over Vanes will give you the 20 title defenses and match Bernard Hopkins' record. How important is that for you? Forget. Forget. Ask later. Kunali, are you worried about uh, the IBF belt and that whole situation? It's kind of out of your hands, but are you worried about it? Seriously, I'm a fighter. I come into ring. You know, this is my job. Not this you know, belt. Like, it's my job you know, to worry about the IBF yeah. belt. He's Arctic, focused yeah. on the fight, and, and I'm worrying about all the, all the titles. He wanted to fight. Maybe, you know, he wanted to fight. He was in the middle of the training camp, and so he wanted to stay active, just like he said, and, and, and that's what we're doing. And Vonis, we have to give him a lot of respect. He was in training. You know, Don King called, said Vonis is uh, you know, available for the opportunity. And this is a huge opportunity for Vonis. Look, if there's an upset on May 5, it's a huge opportunity for him, and he's very hungry. So you can't discount that. And, and uh, Gennady, it's his job to go in there and defend defend his title. So I just know how important it is to him to unify all the belts. So obviously that situation is a little different than just kind of... When, when you have a lot of titles, you have a lot of mandatory obligations. And, uh, you know, we filed for the exception. It's, it's not unusual, especially with the IBF, because they have such stringent rules. Uh, if you have a long time champion and a unified champion like Triple G, sometimes you have to file for an exception. So we did that and we'll hear probably the end of this week or beginning of next week how they rule on the exception. Tom, what are your thoughts on the middleweight record that Gennady will match? Okay. Gennady, if, if I'm correct, he's the longest reigning champion right now in the sport of boxing. So uh, like he said, he's not focused on the record. He just wants to fight. He wants to you know, show that he's the best and, and Vonis right now is, is the person that's uh, that's in front of him and uh, you know his career will be judged you know I think a lot of people thought that nobody would ever touch Bernardo Hopkins record because of how long he, he boxed and 20 title defenses is a huge record and if he can accomplish that and uh, potentially break it this year that's a that's a huge accomplishment from my standpoint uh, in the sport of boxing. Gennady a lot of stuff has happened with all this a lot of bad experiences do you still love boxing do you still like boxing do you still look forward to all this, or is it kind of not so much? It's good word, love. No, this is business. This is boxing business. Everybody understand right now. This is boxing business. So no love anymore. It's just business. This is business. You, you look Nobody at it. Nobody love. Difficult business like this. This is Yeah. Bonnie says that you ha they have the blueprint. Apparently, everyone has a blueprint when they come in to fight you, and they've all failed. Why do you think they are going to come in and try to? Take your belts from you mm. with the blueprint they supposedly have. Mm. It's new for me. It's news for me. New news for me. You know, just come on, guys. This is boxing. If you like boxing, just watch my fight. That's it. <laughs> you know, that's it. Just not questions. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. It's not hype though to say that this is probably the most distracted you've ever been going into a fight, right? Right. It's, Absolutely. It's the most reality. unusual circumstances. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. What did you make of uh, Jamal Charlo? Because he's the mandatory now. He holds a, a, another WBC title. Is that mm -hmm. a fight that you see that could maybe happen in a year or so? Uh, so just, yeah, of course, just, you know, just right now my focus, my focus on next fight, May 5th. If he wants, of course, we'll talk after my fight. Mm. If I win, if I win. Yeah. Gennady, uh, Vaughn is just momentarily uh, said that his wife's favorite fighter is you. And <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of that? Big compliment. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, this is big compliment. Just no, uh, thank you. First of all, thanks for fans, boxing fans, and people who support me. This is very important for boxing. Gennady Vanis said that he was excited and he wasn't going to have to look for you, that he wasn't fighting a boxer. I've never heard a fighter say that they were excited about you putting pressure on them. But he said that. I mean, is that you know, he, he, he's a real guy, you know. Look, he's not scary. He's a real guy, you know, just the same. I understand he's he feeling. 
because I am very excited too because I come back to boxing here. Right now I have opponent. But you know, I told you, Vanessa, he is not easy guy. You know, he is tall, he is strong. He has a strong team, you know, this is very interesting. He, he's excited that he won't have to look for Vonis also. Like with Canelo, he was chasing him around the ring, and Vonis is going to be there. And there's going to be a lot of excitement on uh, on May 5. Tom, you know, Michael Sullivan was considered, but Vonis is clearly a better fighter than him. And he's an Olympian, you know. We feel that, that Vonis has better credentials than, than Spike, and there's nothing against Spike. He's fighting on, on Friday night, and he's got a great opportunity on ESPN. But, um, you know, naturally the financials change when you're going from pay-per-view and a big arena in Las Vegas to regular HBO and, and the StubHub Center. Gennady holds the, the attendance record at the StubHub Center. But, um, you know, we weren't able to work out the deal with Spike, but uh, we feel Vonis, especially being rated number one in the WBC, it's, uh, he's a very credible opponent. And you see that uh, the popularity, you see, uh, you know, his fans from uh, Glendale, they, you know, he's got a very strong fan base here in Los Angeles, so it just made sense all the way around when Don King said that uh, he was interested in the fight. Also a tougher opponent for the nine, right? We, we feel that, that way, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> look, nobody can underestimate Vonis. He's very hungry. When you have a hungry fighter like that that has that amateur experience, has that world-class experience that uh, Vonis has, especially with the TV exposure, Vonis isn't going to be intimidated walking in that ring. They were chomping at the bit to get this opportunity, and they wouldn't have uh, tried so hard to get the opportunity if they were intimidated or if they felt they didn't have a chance. Gennady, what do you think you still have left to prove in the sport? I know you say you don't worry about, you know, the streak and anything, but what do you still feel you need to do in this sport? What do you need to accomplish? Is there anything else you think you need to do? You know, I love this sport, boxing, you know. I know this business. I know this sport. It's maybe, you know, not a lot. I bring not a lot, you know, for this sport. Just right now I feel great, you know, last how many seven nine eight years i still champion yeah a, a lot of people want to see you move up and wait is it, are we ever going to see that before your career is over do you think i'm a very small guy one is no bigger me <laughs> <laughs> so no no you stay 160 you're no, not going anywhere you know just 160 you know just not because i stay 160 like, you know just okay if i have big fight of course i come just who with who Mm. Who would that be? Has to be a name. Yeah. Okay. Big yeah. name? That's a question. Oh, Tell big me. Yeah. The, big, the biggest names yeah, are in, biggest at middleweight right now. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. We're going to get yeah. Brendan yeah. here if we can let the video out. Thank, Thank you. you.